what goes on guys we're back here again with yet another review and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new mattel masterverse power prince power princess of power and the new eternia cyclone and leech two characters that i'm not super familiar with but you know they're new masterverse figures and these don't come out too often anymore which kind of sucks but i really love the box art it's fantastic as always looks amazing get to see the barcode there for cyclone and the barcode for leech i don't know if these are going to stores anymore let me know if you guys know but these look great got them off the big bad toaster so without further ado let's go ahead and open these guys up so getting these guys out of the package I really like them. <laughs> like, they're pretty awesome figures for what they are. I am pleasantly surprised, though. I, it just it must not be my luck today, but I'm missing accessories for Cyclone, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to it. But damn, I really can't catch a break today. I'm pretty happy with these. I really, really hope that this line continues as, you know, I feel like it's just finding its footing um, so to see it go now would really, really suck. Um, but I, I feel like I haven't had a Masterverse reveal in a while. So I don't know. Let me know if you know anything about that. But let's start with Cyclone. Let's, it's pretty close on which one I like more. But taking a look at Cyclone, I have to say right off the bat, this is an ugly ass design. But they do it so well. Like, I do not think this is a good, like, not, a, not that it's a bad design. I just think it's ugly. The blues, golds, and reds just never work for me. Like, primary colors look very childish. But, I don't know, it looks good, <laughs> despite all that. The head sculpt looks fantastic. I love the helmet with the red around there. This translucent, like, looks like sonar piece. I, I, I don't know. It's like a disc looks fantastic i love that these little things on his shoulders that barely get in the way they really don't it's awesome the reds and the metallic blue looks beautiful get to see this saturn i guess i don't know what's this guy's whole shtick let me know um you get his boots they look good a lot of new parts on this guy some reuse but a lot of new parts i feel like almost every figure in the line has this abdomen it's hilarious but for an ugly design or design i personally don't care about I think it looks great. You get some nice sculpting detail. I love these discs on the like on the lats. It looks great. I really, really like this. In terms of accessories, you he comes with the gripping hands on, but he has these in the package. So he has fist hands and this pair of grip hands here. But I, like I said, I took them out. He has his shield sonar thing. This looks great. Um, and you can easily just like Captain America this and plug this into his arm. That's awesome. Love it. He also does come with a faceplate, but I think the face is too good not to have, like, or to, to cover it up. I mean, it goes in beautifully. I love the way that they did that. That is awesome. Really, really like that. But I think the face looks cooler than the faceplate, which is something that I don't normally think. But I like this. I like this a lot. He's supposed to come with two flame pieces. Uh, for the life of me, I scoured that box. Unless I dropped it and didn't see, I did. mine did not come with it, which really sucks. But honestly, I don't think I would have used them anyway. So I'm not too, too upset about it. The head looks up great. It'll look down good. Pivot side to side and rotate. Shoulders, like I showed earlier, go up all the way. They'll rotate 360 as well. Biceps, well, I love that this is like attached to that. That is super cool. Double jointed pinless elbows. This line's been pinless from the start, baby. Wrist swivel and hinge. The diaphragm joints got so much better on these, man. I mean, like, this still isn't great. You do get a waist twist, too. But this still isn't great. But it's so much better than what it was to begin with. I love it. Hips go out. Full splits. I guess they're still on drop hinges. Whatever. Kicks forward, back, upper thigh, swivel. Double jointed knees that couldn't go any further if they wanted to. Rotation at the boot. And the ankle goes up and down and pivots. So, yeah, I likes it. I likes it quite a bit. It's nothing incredible, but I think despite having an ugly color combination, he goes good together and turns out to be a really cool figure. But I gotta say, I think I found myself liking Leech a little bit more, but can you blame me? He's a big creature thing. He's awesome. So, taking a look at this head sculpt, 
Your mom never looked so good. Love the teeth in there. I think there's a little bit of a dry brush on the tongue. That looks awesome. Love the side of the head. The gills look great. Get this, these nice big shoulder pads. I like them. Probably some reuse on the arm, but these bands look good. You get the Hordak logo on there. The Horde logo on the chest. Looks great. I like this big armor piece. Again, pretty sure they all have the same abdomen. It's hilarious. Um, love this belt piece. I like that it's something new. Um, what I don't love is how these legs, they have some nice paint on them, but they don't have like the bubbles up at the hip. They did not like these warts and stuff, they did not continue on there. And it is kind of jarring. I'm not a big fan of that. Do like the Horde logos on the shin pads. And of course, you get these big old sucker toothed feet and hands. I love that. That looks great. Really, really fun. Like I said, it would have been kind of cool if we had like interchangeable hands that we could use to, you know, have them stick on the wall if that was something that you wanted to do with like actual suction cups but personally i don't really care that much this is definitely what i was hoping for in a leech figure from the masterverse line so here is his one weapon one of the weapons that he comes with a bow clips onto his arm boom that's whatever not my thing but i do like the wrist whip i like the hordak logo as the clip and then you get like this squishy whip Looks cool. I like it. Nothing crazy, but it definitely gets the job done. Probably, like I said, probably could have used some suction cup hands as an accessory because he's a little light in the accessory department. But, eh, what are you going to do? Head will look up not super far, down a little bit, side to side, and we'll pivot a little bit. But he's got a weird shaped head, so that's not that big a deal. Shoulders go up. They'll go down. They'll rotate. Biceps will up in there. Double jointed elbows that are going to go as far as they literally can. And the wrist swivel and the hinge. I love that. The diaphragm drone on this guy is awesome. He'll crunch forward, he'll go back, he'll pivot side to side, and he'll rotate at the top so you can get them all around with a waist twist. So very, very nice. Hips go out that far, they'll go down, kick forward and back, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees that are pinless. They look great. Shin swivel, and then the ankles go all the way down all the way forward and they'll pivot but it's a little weird because he's got probably the flattest feet i've ever seen in my collection so yeah he looks and moves as good as he needs to for a character like leech here they are next to the neck of toys king kong along with the jazzwares fortnite series peely here they are next to the mcfarland toys dark knight returns batman along with the hasbro marvel legends x-men series darwin and then here they are next to the hasbro marvel legends what if series zombie captain america so some of you might be out there wondering, yo, Ant, what are your final thoughts on these figures? And I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with them. I mean, neither of them, like, blew me away, like, something I wasn't expecting, but they're fun, and they're great additions to the Master of Our Shelf. I hope and hope and hope that we keep getting these figures. I really, really like getting new characters. I'm also gonna throw out my shameless plug. If anybody has a web store for a good price, please hit a brother up. I, he's the only one that I'm missing that I really, really want. So if you can hook a brother up, that'd be great. But yeah, overall, I'd say these figures are really, really cool. Still at the $23 price point, I'm, I'm happy with them. So for $23, I'm going to give them each an 8 out of 10. I think they're fine. Good paint, pretty good sculpt. The articulation has improved a lot since the beginning of the line. Yeah, I'm here for it. So with that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. If you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Letterboxd. I post a lot on all those apps, and I have a great time, so I'm sure you will too. But as always, let me know. You copping? See you guys in the next one. Peace. Walk us on, guys. I wanted to hop on here again and thank you all for watching. And to let you know that if the following apps interest you, feel free to follow me on them as I put the links in the description for you guys. I really appreciate everything you all do for me. So DM me with any questions or thoughts. I'd love to sit and talk with you all. Again, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.